What's going on YouTube? As you all know from my previous videos, I've been preparing for the release of my very first book. I'm really excited about that and we're in the home stretch. And uh, I'll make some videos soon about kind of what my status is about that and to keep you guys updated. But in the meantime, I've also started something new for the first time in a very long time. And that's what I wanted to make this video about today because now that I started something new, um, I'm trying to approach it differently. And I've been so close to the material of this first book that's soon to be released. I'm trying to do stuff new this time with this new book. I just want to go over two things that I do to kind of get myself warmed up and prepared to write. This isn't going to be a long video, but I think that this is something that, you know, any other writer can use to kind of help them warming up or getting started when writing something new. Now, this isn't anything groundbreaking, as I'm sure, you know, some of you guys might even do this already. But what I like to do before I start something new is I like to read. Now, I think that as writers, we should be reading all the time anyway. You know, you should always be reading alongside the writing. But there are two specific things that I'm reading that kind of help me and inspire me. And uh, right now, it's The English Patient by Michael Ondaatje. I think this is one of the most beautiful books ever. The story is incredible. Um, I mean, if you haven't read this yet, you really, really should. And the other one is The Winged Histories by Sophia Samatar. Both of these books are really beautiful and they're really beautifully written. And so what I like to do is just take like 10 to 15 minutes before I start writing and just read a little bit. I'm absorbing those words and I'm kind of just getting into the flow of writing by ingesting these books and ingesting these words by these great authors. And, you know, just to inspire me a little bit and just to help me kind of get my flow and get my mind going. And the other thing I like to do is just a free write exercise. I have just a regular, um, you know, notebook here. It doesn't matter. Sometimes I'll use a really, really crappy pen. Sometimes I'll use a good pen. Sometimes I'll use pencil, whatever. I just like to take like five minutes and just free write sometimes. Some mornings I'm not in the mood to read. You know, I don't think that that's going to be the thing to get me jump started that morning. Sometimes I think the best thing to do is just free write. And just kind of let, you know, just get it out. Get those words out of me. Get that trash out of me almost. It's kind of like going on, you know, like a juice cleanse almost. You know what I mean? But with writing. Uh, that was a pretty terrible way to put it. Again, you don't have to keep a notebook for this. You could do it on your laptop. I like to do it by freehand and just write in this notebook here. But you can choose to do it however you want to do it. That's really it, guys. I don't really have much else. Um, those are just two ways that I kind of get myself jump started and get myself into the flow of writing before actually writing now that I'm working on this new project. And uh, I think that I'm going to make a video pretty soon just talking about what this new project is um, and, you know, kind of where I am in this process, as well as there's going to be another video upcoming about what uh, the status is of the book that's going to be released soon, hopefully, as long as everything kind of keeps on the trajectory that it's on now. Thanks, everybody.